Welcome back. My name is Jeff Hemming. We're going to do another great charcoal drawing tutorial here. I've got my uh, paper all set up here and I'm going to be doing a great little drawing today of uh, Yosemite Falls. Like always, first thing I want to do is I'm going to tone down. I'm going to tone down my paper here. Just knock down the white. Get something down there. I'll use a little bit bigger piece. There we go. Just using uh, my vine charcoal here. Just using the vine charcoal. Knock down the whole paper. All right, and then going back in just with a piece of fabric, any kind of fabric will do. Uh, paper towel, t-shirt, and I just want to wipe this down. And I'm going to get rid of uh, the white paper and have start with an even tone. Okay, I'm planning on having uh, the waterfall kind of coming right down through the middle. This is going to be a view of looking right as you go along um, Southside Drive of the valley. You pass Four Mile Trail and a little bit longer the boom the Cook's Meadow opens up and you get a great view looking across the meadow looking across the Merced River to uh, the Yosemite Falls um, Columbia Rock and uh, you know Yosemite points right there so I want to have the waterfall somewhere right in here um, we're gonna have it, the ridge coming to come down waterfall is gonna start right in here and then it kind of comes up I'm working from a couple photos that I've taken and this kind of goes down like that the waterfall is going to come down to about halfway. There's two parts to the Yosemite water, to the Yosemite Falls, and then there's going to be kind of this part in here, um, and then it cuts over here, and then you see a little bit of that waterfall here, and then down here we're going to have some lower trees, and the meadow will be here. Let's get to it. The sky. I'm going to just give the sky another pass, and then we'll just. I'm going to just go ahead and blend this up a little bit. using that paper wiper and maybe we'll put in some clouds here with my little just some wispy clouds up there I don't want to have too much contrast back here remember the more contrast you have in your drawing or painting the more it's going to want to come to the foreground so all of our strong contrast is going to be closer than further back usually just blend this up nice and soft Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a, let's grab a medium piece of charcoal. Just using my vine charcoal, we'll put this back in. This is that top ridge here. Comes down to that water, it's gonna spout right out of here. Something like this. And I'm just gonna draw, I'm just gonna draw the outline of it for now. So we know where it is. So the waterfall is gonna come down here and it's gonna mist out down here and there's a little misty bits that kind of float around so there is I'm gonna start with an outline which I don't generally do but well, we'll start with an outline so you can see what we're doing and then from here I'm just gonna push that line and I want to darken up some of these cliff areas so I'm gonna just take my piece of vine charcoal um, and I'm just gonna lay it on its side and I'm just gonna start letting it letting it dance okay I'm just gonna let it dance all through here twisting and turning pushing and pulling I want all different kinds of marks because this is going to represent our cliff face. Okay, I'm going to have all different kinds of texture. What we're doing is we're building up, um, I'm building up some texture here, and I'll go back in and modify it in just a little bit. So the next little bit comes up over here, and it comes down right in here. And I want to do the same thing. I want to just bring in the side of that charcoal and twist and pull. And I want to just give, and if it's okay if you go over the waterfall right now, go right into that waterfall, because we're going to bring that waterfall out later with our eraser. And I'm just going to twist and pull using the side of that charcoal. Do let the side of that charcoal do the work for you. All right, down into here. Like I'm kind of getting small, that little piece of charcoal. We'll have to switch it out in just a minute. Now, that looks good. Maybe darken these up some up on the top here. There we go, that's nice. And this back ridge, I suppose he needs to have something to do back here too, but he's too far in the back. I don't wanna have, I don't wanna give him too much detail because he's too far, he's the next one up. So he'll be kind of dark and then we'll get kind of lighter. Now, I'm gonna use my gummy eraser and I am just going to get it nice and soft. And what I wanna do is I wanna just start making some texture marks on this cliff and I'm just rolling, look at the watch, I'm just rolling this down, 
just roll it down and just let it let it pick that charcoal up and you start ending up with all these nice little things that are happening uh, that are going to represent and suggest kind of cliff texture granite cliff texture now we don't want it to get too white we don't want it to be too too bright because the brightest part needs to be our waterfall that's got to be the brightest part so we don't want it to get too bright so if it gets too bright I can always go back with my charcoal and lock it up but I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of detail and texture to this cliff just by letting this thing move around and maybe a little bit up here too I'm just going to let this pull down here And I will take my, I have a little paper, a little piece of paper. And I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. Just do some curly zigzags through here and soften it up, especially this one. Uh, it's going to be really dark right around the edge of that waterfall. So I'm going to use this piece of vine charcoal and just put in some nice dark areas right around the edge of that using the edge now if I look at my if I look at the, uh, the photo there's a lot of like texture things that are going on with this cliff there's a couple lines that come down there's some characters too there's some little landmarks that I want to put in so there's a couple lines that come down and I'm just using the edge again just using the edge of that charcoal And I dropped it. Well, let's get a new one. Maybe, uh, well, we'll try a fat one. I'm gonna just use the edge of this charcoal, bring it down, and it kind of gives the indication of that cliff's that nice drop off straight down. These bigger ones are easy to hold on to. All right, that's nice. All right, waterfall's gonna be in here somewhere, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna darken up this side. Darken up this side. And again, there's some character bits that happen. There's little pieces of cliff that you can kind of see that stand out. I don't wanna get all the detail, I just wanna get kind of the idea, suggestion of the waterfall, and then we'll move on. I'm just dragging these straight down. Now, if you get too many, you can always go back in and just erase them if you did something you don't like. But I always, instead of erasing, I just like to add more. I just like to add more. So I wanna make this a little bit darker because what we're gonna have is this mist coming up from the waterfall and the edge of the waterfall kind of is gonna be like right in here, like this. I'll just darken this up here. There we go, that's good. And carry this over like this. Darken this up a little bit. So we have some nice texture going on here. Now, what we can do here is we can pop open, we can pop up some little highlights of this cliff with our with our gummy eraser again. And just let them drag through here. See, there's a couple over here. I'm just kind of changing a little bit of this texture, mixing it up a little bit. A couple highlights down here. And let's push this composition off the page. Don't get lazy on the edge. Keep that, keep that composition going all the way to the edge. There we go, just like that. All right, now, so part of this, um, there's a lot of little lines that come down, so I wanna just kinda of give the indication of some of these granite lines. I'm using a very small piece of vine charcoal, and I'm just dragging, I'm just twisting, I'm rolling the charcoal as I drag it down. And this kinda of gives the indication of some of those granite lines. Right through there. Now, right in here, it starts, to, it starts to gradually move out, and this area right here is covered in trees, and it gets a little bit darker. So what we're gonna do is uh, just draw it out real quick, kinda comes like this, comes over here, 
and then this whole area gets pretty dark. There's a little bit indication of that waterfall right in here with lower Yosemite Falls. It's going to start right in here. Boom, that's going to be our lower Yosemite Falls. Right in there, there's another little ridge that looks like that happens right in here. Just using the side of my charcoal. Right in there. This area looks like, in this picture anyway, it's all a little bit darker. So I just want to build up this rock texture. It's both granite covered in kind of trees. Right in here. And some, yeah, some more little granite bits that happen here. All right. Now, let's do some waterfall bits. So, uh, waterfall, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of my gummy eraser. I'm gonna get a nice little knife edge and I'm just gonna start erasing and folding back and erasing and folding back and erasing and folding back and erasing and the edge of that waterfall gets kind of there's mist that comes off of the edge of that waterfall and you can make mist really easily by just having a nice clean edge tapping and rolling look at this okay but you have to have the dark charcoal down first to be able to make that mist. So there's that side. And now let's get the other side. Let's make it a little bit thicker. It was a big rainy year. It was a big runoff. Oh, I hiked it a couple years ago and it was, it was gushing. I hiked up to, if you want a good view of the waterfall, you hike up out of Camp 4 to Columbia Rock. It's about a mile up there. It's pretty steep, but it's a good little hike. You can keep going to the top of the waterfall another mile or so and you get a nice view but if you can only make it to Columbia Rock you still get a kind of a nice view of that waterfall eye level with the bottom of that first one all right keep drawing this in here and I'm gonna just softly now I want to just softly indicate this mist is kind of all over the place mist kind of mist and clouds they tend to make everything really soft so I want to soften up this using very little pressure. Okay, there's our waterfall. Now, if it looks like it's not standing out enough, you can come back in and kind of give that edge a little more indication. Add some contrast to that edge. There we go. Just right up here. There it is. Let's add some texture down here. I'm going to use my eraser and just add some highlights down on this granite texture down here, just wiping it almost like a paintbrush, just lightening up some things, kind of pushing it together. Now, one of the, my very favorite things to do is add some trees and add some very small trees to the back right in here. There's small trees growing up. And the way I do that, I have a nice small piece of charcoal and I just, I just hit straight down multiple times. And I just add little indications of little trees growing right up off of this little area. I didn't see that. Just just tapping straight down. And it kind of gives the indication of some faraway trees growing on this on this little area. There's this little area that juts out. And there's some covered with little pine trees that sit right on the edge of this cliff. Right above, right in between upper and Yosemite Falls and lower Yosemite Falls. So I'm just gonna keep adding some more okay and then there's some cracks down here that come down into this another area and there's another area of trees that are just right in here I'm gonna add a few more and just tapping it's one of my favorite ways to add do trees in the far away just tap 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 straight down I'm just tapping straight down really quick just like that bring this down and what do you know my piece of charcoal is pretty much done so switch it up and get another little piece and I'm gonna bring this down here here's our other cliff right in here darken up this
and I'm going to go back. This is going to be a granite face, and I'm going to have my bigger trees down here. So I'm going to go back, and I want to lighten this up because the bigger trees are going to be dark, and I want the background to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to just grab some of this with my gummy eraser and just kind of give the indication of some granite rocks. And I'm pulling down, moving it, twisting it, and as, as I pull down, this is going to give the indication of some rocks back here, those granite faces. And if you want to give some more highlights to them, you can just make that little knife edge and just tap that down. Tap that down. Oh, we got to do our waterfall over here. That's right. Okay, so let's do our other little bits of waterfall. So it kind of sneaks in between upper and low Yosemite Falls and lower Yosemite Falls. There's a little, there's a couple little areas of waterfalls that sneak through here. And let's put lower Yosemite Falls in here. Like that right there. Just like that. Boom. And then maybe some mist. Give him some mist too. And we'll darken this up a little bit here. Maybe some little trees that live right out here. Bring this one down. And then I want to go and add some, just some more character here to these rock faces. People want to see, you know, the little lines, some of those details. And the way I do it, I just twist and pull. And I'm adding some rock character to these granite faces. Our lower area here is covered in large pine trees. So I'm just going to start drawing in some larger pine trees here. Down to this meadow. So this whole meadow down here, this is going to be kind of light. But this right here, this has got to get dark. Okay. So I'm just going to make this dark. First tree, we'll put them in here. Right in here. Let's do our second tree. And he needs another guy. And I'm going to continue this all the way across here. Just little marks back and forth to indicate that those pine trees are there in front of that. All right, let's continue that. All right, I'm just going to keep doing these little marks for these trees all the way across the bottom. And when you get down to the bottom, you can kind of just start generalizing them and put them in. You kind of get the idea that those are trees down there. And maybe one over here, just for, just for the edge. Just for the edge, just scrub him in. I'm going to go back in with my uh, gummy eraser. And let's see here. Let's say we wanted to put in some lighter trees right in here. Some of these dogwoods that grow. Just use my eraser, pop them in there. Indication of some of this coming up here like this. And I am just using this gummy eraser to draw in some highlights. Make sure you always make sure you always rip a nice new piece. And when you rip it, you get that kind of weird raggedy edge and that gives a nice texture look to your to the tree that you're doing. Rip it, 
and dab it. Rip it, mush it, get a new one, rip it, and then just dab it on there. You kind of get some nice, get some nice tree marks. And then if you need to, you can go back in, make a nice little knife edge and draw in some little stems and some trunks of trees right in here. Just some little details, kind of something to look at. Pinch it, get a nice knife edge and just tap it. Rip it, give it a little pinch. These little details kind of draw your eye in a little bit. Pinch it. One more little tree over here. Get some texture down this little meadow down here. And I think that will do it. Well, I think that just about does it. Hope you enjoyed this little lesson and uh, hope you join me again.